we need to learn to work with our differences. That's yeah. where the bond comes in. So because um begin to find out that yeah that marriage is a union of two different people, right? And that your differences are not actually meant to tear you apart. Your differences are meant to unite bind you, you, bind you together. So because of your differences, there will be a lot of hurts here and there, a lot of misunderstandings here and there. So if um, you are not um, a forgiver, it will have a negative impact on your marriage. I found out that the more you, you keep a hurt, the more it separates the two of you. So for example, if there's a misunderstanding today and uh, it lingers till tomorrow, it becomes more difficult to tackle it. If it lingers two, for two days, it becomes more difficult. So the more it lingers, the more two of you are being separated. And another thing, sorry, we have to cut it short. Another thing is that that period of separation, I, 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 the devil will make you to brood on those hearts. Yeah. You will yeah. not know how deep you will go. Yeah. Like you will sit down, oh 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 oh, and if you're a type that lie loves to Im- imagine, yeah. oh my God, like that hot, you will be surprised to see that those hot will develop legs, hands, eyes. Yeah. You will give it to children, grandchildren, great grandchildren who have generations. Just one single hot. So it it is not advisable to keep it. Because that's a loophole for the devil to see people. Okay, he did this to you. Remember so 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 that he did the same thing. He remember this other one that you did. He rem- oh God, yeah. and it will keep elongating the rope in your mind. I know everything happens in the mind. So from the mind, you start playing out. What's going on yeah, out there? That's that's so so true. As you're talking, I was just in the picture of you know a small ant, and then it now grew into a giant so i think what, what that picture means that a small heart you know if it's not dealt with at that time and then you know it's not it will grow rapidly into a monster that you know would fight your marriage and the bite of a small ant is not the same to be the bite of a giant ant giant ant is too pain it's, pa- it's pa- painful small ant you can just do it like this but giant ant oh my god it can pain you for two days if you're like you know that's that you, you don't have the same viewpoint on a particular issue does not mean that you know your spouse is not good or that you are not good comparison we blind your eye to the goodness in him yeah and so, always the the grass would always look greener on the other on side, the other side. <laughs> That's the point. so no matter what you have no no matter where you are and what you have you know the grass would always be greener, greener. when you look out yes you understand? and <laughs> it it can kill it comparison kills anything yeah. it's not just marriage it kills anything so whatever you have that god says it's yours there's no need to compare yeah. because you're looking at the other side and the grass is greener you don't know that there are green snakes under the grass you see that some of us who still have vague dreams and sometimes our dreams don't align with you will of God and our dreams because God knows the end from the beginning so sometimes our dream can be like my initial dream was TGH tall dark and handsome plumpy not slim plumpy I didn't like fair. we are getting there, yeah, we are getting getting there. there. <laughs> so that was my dream but hey what I met TDH and they were <laughs> I'm not saying tall dark and handsome guys are terrible but the ones I met uh, I said oh okay it's not tall, tall dark and handsome again and Plumpy, this is the best for me. This is what God wants for me, and I accepted it. So God will give you the best, the best. So don't get to the point of being desperate. Don't be desperate. God will give you the best in His own time, and I pray for you that you be sensitive enough to know when God has given you the best. Amen. You be sensitive. You will not be confused. The devil will not confuse you. You be sensitive, and you'll be able quick and obedient to align to god's will immediately and it's going to be beautiful